I'm Peter Barron, and today I'm at Gould Academy up in Bethel, Maine, and I'm, I've got the pleasure of sitting with Todd Ormanston, who's the Director of Admissions here at, at Gould, which is a co-ed boarding school, grades 9 through 12, and they have a PG year. So, uh, so first off, thank you for taking a couple minutes out of your day. Um, one of the questions that we've gotten before, uh, oftentimes from families who are kind of outside of New England, you know, on the West Coast or maybe in the South, where there isn't necessarily the, the tradition of boarding schools that there are that there is up here. Is, you know, why should I send you know my child to a boarding school? What is it about a boarding school that makes it a really you know unique and, and special opportunity for my for my student? Well, I, having now worked in uh, three different boarding schools in the last twenty years, um, it, it, it comes to me often just in sort of social conversations mm -hmm. of uh, you know the whole boarding school experience and, and what's it like to work there and, and, and why do kids go to boarding school. And um, it's taken me a little while to, to get to that point of, of that defined, short answer. And the answer really becomes that students go to boarding school because there's something there that they're not getting at home. And, um, and it could be anything from a, a rich arts experience, uh, a rigorous academic experience, or on the other side, uh, the need for a more supportive academic experience, um, athletic opportunities, uh, non-parental mentoring, those sorts of things, but they're looking for something that uh, they just can't get at home. Right. And, and, what, and kind of bringing it back to Gould, what is it about Gould that a family may not be able to get home? Well, uh, it, it starts um, certainly with, with the, the two um, pieces of, of academics. Um, we have uh, a wonderful, very rigorous academic uh, program um, that's not only specific to the core opportunities of uh, math, science, and English, um, but also um, some of the more um, interesting um, elective type classes into the arts or science or robotics, that sort of thing. Um, but then also it gets into um, that we have a, a highly individualized academic experience, experience as well. Um, and it goes from the, the teachers who live here, right here on campus to the extra support sessions that happen um, practically every night of the week, um, writing center, math center, the science center is always open. So, um, and students feel really comfortable to go to get that extra help. And then of course, um, our setting, we're, we're in, in Maine. It's a, it's a beautiful environment, it's clean, it's healthy. Uh, we have a wonderful uh, winter sports opportunity up at Sunday River, only six miles away. You can see it from campus. Uh, yeah, yeah. And, and it reminds us every day that it's, 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 it's a, it is part of our campus in a lot of ways. 200 of our kid of our 240 kids go to Sunday River in, in the winter time every day so um, it could be a winter sports experience it could be um, our, our soccer or lacrosse programs um, and and it, it depends on the student um, but but generally it's that they're they, they get here and they have that gut feeling that this this could be home for a while and I could have friends here so you kind of like backing it up for a second for families who are jumping into the process right now, are there certain questions they should be asking as they're considering schools? I mean, you know, how do they kind of ex get that gut experience? I mean, obviously it's coming to campus, but how do they know which campuses to go to? Yeah, I, I think obviously uh, sites like Admissions Quest sure. um, are, are terrific in terms of um, getting that far away view of, of programs and setting, um, location, size. Um, but uh, so you can narrow it down to a certain um, core group of schools depending on how, how deep you want to go in. I, I'd suggest no less than four or five schools to visit campus. And so that first filter that you put on is, is, is size and program and that sort of thing. And, and then you, you've got um, a core group of schools that, that makes sense for not only here and now, but also what your goals are um, in specific programs, but also clearly you know, college placement is important as well. Yeah. And and I guess in, in closing, as we begin to, to to wrap up here, you know, when they do come on campus, what piece of advice would you offer them as they're you know looking around and, and taking their tour? I think first of all, before they land on campus, um, get to know the school um, well. Don't just know where it is and how many kids are there, um, but dig into um, their very rich blogs on, on many schools um, websites. Um, YouTube has often terrific uh, videos, um, but 
do a little bit of due diligence before you even arrive, so you know what kinds of questions. Maybe you find have. people from the area who have gone there. And, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, right. yeah. And, and word of mouth is is, is really important. Yeah. Um, gut feelings that way. Once they get on campus, I, I think the admissions office um, is is a wealth of knowledge. Um, all admissions offices at all schools are doing a wonderful job of sharing the great things that the schools do. Um, but the kids and the faculty are really what drive the experience. Spending time with, with a couple of kids, um, maybe going to a class, certainly trying to spend some time with a faculty member who does something your child is really deeply interested in. Um, and most importantly, I think, go to lunch. Make sure yeah. you go to lunch at, at school uh, because you, you see the food, the food, you taste the food, which is important. Yeah. Um, but also you see where the, where the faculty sit. How do the faculty get along? Do, um, do you see clicks uh, of the students? Do, do they look happy? Mm -hmm. um, and, and the dining hall is a, is a pretty interesting study on, on a school's health yeah, and that's whether you fit there. Good place to read between the lines, right? Absolutely, yeah. yeah. Well, I, this is terrific advice. And you know, if somebody wants to learn more about Gould, gouldacademy.org is the website, right. right? And I'm sure they can pick up the phone and give you a buzz, too. Absolutely, yeah. yeah. Great, well, thanks. I appreciate the time. Thanks for coming.